Yo, this is Jay Stills, and it comes to my attention that it's getting a little hot, you know, real hot outside. You know, get summer's coming, you know, this is spring right now. Uh, the winter has officially left the south for the most part. Um, so, Namco, like, where's that summer DLC we've been looking for for Tekken 7? Now, I know, I know, Soul Calibur 6 is coming out soon, but more importantly, where is that summer DLC 2018 pack we've been looking for? Now, I for one, and many others, many others have bought the DLC season pass. And uh, we're just kind of waiting. We're hoping, we're waiting, we're praying, we're wishing to get some new content. Because this game is getting a little stale. Real talk. And uh, the fact that Street Fighter V and all these other little games are going to constantly get updates every so often i'm starting to really question and wonder i mean i watch some of the other youtubers that cover tekken 7 and they you know they talk about updates here and there but for the most part they kind of just stop because they don't think they think that now there's one youtuber i can't think of his name right now i think his name is print something but he constantly released update updates every so often uh, basically off of Harada's Twitter now his Twitter account you know I'm, to be real with you I would do videos on his Twitter account too but he be trolling people and I, I just feel like at this point it's no point of me even getting on to discuss every little tweet he does I mean it I mean it could potentially mean that he will drop something based off of his tweets because it's I mean any, like sometimes like you know just news with Tekken 7 is exciting because we at least get some type of hope but in this case, I don't think so. I really don't think so because I, I don't know. I really don't know at this point. I, it's hard to it's hard to call because I don't think we're gonna get anything. I'm, I'm hoping and wishing we get, you know, some type of. I hope they I hope they release a, like a legacy DLC pack with more costumes, more game modes, and other things. Now, in my last video. There, about Tekken 7 there was like an argument going on about people who don't want you know free content now people that are like calling people that are saying oh you should have brought the season pass I've complained about everything to be real with you if, if everything got released if everything got released for free y'all would not be complaining y'all would be using that if they release free costumes and free stages and more characters you guys, the same people that was calling people out for that and trolling people in the other videos or either Harada fanboys or, or Tekken 7 fanboys, whatever, you guys would be using those new characters. You really would. And also, I'm going to do another video on Tekken 7 as far as variations. Like, should they have copied Mortal Kombat and did variations of some characters like Master Raven, you know, Panda, Kuma, who else? I'm trying to think because Nina and Anna are two separate characters they don't they have they have two unique move sets but characters that are similar that, that are kind of similar because they had to you know variations where they could have gave you like a different rage art but the same but they but you could have kept the same move set but anyway that's another video but like I was saying hopefully we get this new DLC pack that's gonna be dropping sometime soon in the future hopefully we do because like I said before if we don't get anything this summer after a little anniversary period is up whatever whatever or either before evo or what and they focus on soul caliber 6 this game will be incomplete that's just my personal opinion like comment subscribe if you want to have a discussion about this talk in the comment section let me know your thoughts and your uh, opinions peace out